All right, so here it is. Look at it go. Got a crazy amount of power. Today I'm going to be working on building a magnetic stir plate, and it's actually going to have two fans here. So we're going to have one fan there, one fan there, and the idea is that you know these fans spin because they're fans, and we're going to have magnets on top of them, and then those magnets will spin these cute little stir bars. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the lid of this case. This is just like a $12 case on Amazon. You can get it from Jeff Bezos today. Um, the links for all the, the supplies I used are in the description of this video. So we're going to have to lift these off of, the, of, off of the bottom so that the magnets are as close to the surface of the top of this case as possible uh, to get the best magnetic flux, I guess. Um, everything is going to be powered by this 12 volt, 2 amp uh, wall wart. I've drilled a hole in the back here for the power cable to run through. I'm just going to hot glue that in place. It's going to come in. The negative terminal is going to go to one of the, the switches really nice. Again, all of the uh, things I'm using are in the description. So, let me take this out. So, one of the negative terminals is going to go to one end of this switch. The other negative terminal is going to go to the uh, ground, so the black wires of all of these fans. Um, and then the last component, this is all really, really simple, you know, take an afternoon to put together at max. This is a potentiometer. I'm using a 5 kilo ohm uh, potentiometer. I'm sure you can also use other ratings. I'm sure a 10 kilo ohm would work fine. 20 probably as well. Um, and I drilled little holes in the front. Pretty cute. And then this goes in here, and I have little screws to cover that up and a little knob that will go on that. Um, so hopefully that all looks pretty when it's done. The last component that I haven't talked about yet, these are just neodymium, neodymium magnets. Um, N52 is what I would look up. Again, the link to purchase these is down in the description below. Um, so I will put the wiring diagram on the screen after I finish wiring it and make sure everything works well, uh, just so you can pause the video uh, to look at the wiring diagram, you know, put it all together yourself if you want to. But now I'm gonna solder everything together. Everything's soldered. Look at that. It's an absolute mess. All right, so again, got the power cord coming in here. Goes right here. I stripped the ends of this. Again, ground is going to the switch. It's on right now. Okay, yeah, it's on. So ground goes through the switch. The ground of the fans are connected to this ground of the switch, and then the positive wire here is connected to the first, it's on, so I'm being careful, the first pin there, so the orange wire. So the, the power, the 12 volts from the wall is connecting to the first pin on both of those potentiometers, and then the power wire from the fan is going to the middle of the potentiometer, and the third prong isn't used. Now, let me show you why this design is awful. So, first of all, you have to spin it, let's see, counterclockwise. Yeah, counterclockwise turns it on, so that's cool. Um, so I'm turning it. Okay, that's pretty high. So there's like a, like, completely off. Let's see. There's completely off and then I turn like an eighth of a turn and then it's completely on. I don't know what the problem is, you can put, uh, tell me everything I did wrong in the comments please. Um, I have a feeling that if you put a resistor in line that would fix it, I'm not really sure. Um, but I mean, you know, this is decently slow and a little bit more is decently high. You know, maybe with the magnets it'll be a little bit slower. Uh, so. I'm going to put everything together with some hot glue and the spacers that I'm using. 
are just caps to test tubes that I have laying around, so that will be nice. Um, so if if I can do it in this <laughs> in this really stupid way, then you can do it too. So I'll be back. Everything will be hot glued. See you in a second. Everything is hot glued in. You can see the little bottle caps down in there. Um, these motors might not be close enough to the top plate. We'll see in a second. Um, all I need to do is add the little cute caps to the potentiometers and then hot snot the magnets onto here and then test it out. All right, is it beautiful? Uh, no, but it does work, sort of. That's it. I'm going to use this to hopefully um, be incorporated into a do-it-yourself bioreactor kit. There's my peristaltic pump ready to be put in a box over there. There's a tubular fungi reactor right there. That's another video. Thank you for watching. Tell me everything that I did wrong in the comments, please. Please don't forget to like if you like the video and subscribe if you want more uh, content of things that don't work. Thanks. Bye.